Alright guys, this is Jared, and I'm back finally after a month of no uploads, but that was for a reason. So, I don't think I put the video up, let me check, but uh, I did say I was going to do a month challenge where it's no bullshit, like I say every time, but um, this time I actually meant it, I actually went through with it, because... Let me see if I posted it. Uh, wow, really? I didn't? I didn't post it. So, it's going to be in the beginning of this video then. Uh, as you see, I did say I was going to take a month that I posted it. But, uh, I was going on a trip for my birthday and I wanted to be below 300 or 300 pounds. Now that trip was very fun, but let's start from the beginning. So we're going to start with the 300 pounds. Where did I get under 300 pounds? I got 303 pounds. That was the lowest weight and I got this entire time. Now that's not bad, not where I want it to be, but I will take it. So 300 pounds. 303. I usually take off 3 pounds because whenever I do the weight and like I take my foot off the scale, it says 3.5 with nothing on it. So, you know, I usually take it off. But 303, 300, whatever you want to say. Uh, to make me feel better, I say 300 or 299.5, you know, pretty much 300. But, uh, so let's get to the trip. The trip was very fun. I was there for four days, from the 21st to the 25th. Right? Yeah, 21st to the 25th. I landed back yesterday. Um, had a lot of fun. Went to go visit my family. Stayed in the resort. Had the meanest tan. I, I got burnt, actually. Uh, but the annoying part, which I did expect this part, but... You know, it's still annoying. I did gain back a lot of weight. Cause I ate a lot. And that's why I went to the gym so much before, so I could eat a lot without feeling so bad when I came back. And I know what to do now, so I could just work it out, you know? So, I'm back to 310, which is crazy, cause I only gained seven pounds in four days, which is excessive to the max, but it was expected, obviously. So, I'm gonna show you guys a little recap with music and all that, uh, there wouldn't be, I don't think there's going to be a voiceover, I don't feel like making a voiceover for it, I'm just going to show you guys a collage of my trip, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy this little collage. So I said I wasn't going to do a voiceover, but I do want to tell a little story about the entire trip, I feel like that makes it more fun and interesting. So this is me at the resort, after coming from the plane at like 9 in the morning, uh, this is me and my mom at the pool. We wasted literally no time. We just got into our room, got a pool. That same day, my aunt came and we decided to get some drinks because we were celebrating. They had just moved from New York and uh, this is where like we decided this is going to be a good trip because we finally got to see them after God knows how long. I think, I think it was like three months. And, you know, we just missed them a lot. So we decided to go visit. And quite honestly, us visiting them and them seeing us for the first time in months is what made this trip so special. This is why we had so much fun. Now this aunt is somebody that I really spent all of my birthdays with for like the past eight years. So I didn't want to lose that tradition just because of the distance, you know? So that's why I decided to go to Florida and not Puerto Rico, which was our original plan. But uh, as you guys saw what was happening in Puerto Rico and DR, it was a good decision not to go. And um, I do send all my prayers out to people in Puerto Rico and DR. But uh, I am glad that we went to Florida because it was definitely the right decision. So now that night we decided to go get ice because we were thirsty. And I want you guys to see how loud this machine is. So a quick story with that machine is that it 
wasn't on our floor. We were on the first floor, and we thought maybe the ice would be in the lobby because, well, it's the lobby, you know. That's probably where people are going to have the ice machine. But little did we know that was wrong. So we ended up going back to our floor. We found out where it was at. So we went back to our floor. Our ice machine was broken. Our ice machine was broken, so we had to go to the second best thing, which would be the third floor. And uh, quite honestly, we went into the stairs, and the stairs were very creepy, so it was like kind of weird. But we made it to the third floor. We found an ice machine, and you guys heard the noise it made. It was so loud. And it was like 12 o'clock. We thought we were going to wake up the people in the room that was right behind us. If you saw it at the end of the video. So we just got so scared. And we were dying. We stopped making the, we stopped putting the ice in the bucket for a bit. And that's when I recorded. But yo, that ice machine freaking scared us. And so did the stairs. The entire thing was just creepy after 12 o'clock. So, so now it's the day of my birthday. I had this beautiful breakfast. Uh, it tasted pretty good. And this is me and my mom. My mom was carrying me in the pool. And I fell asleep on my floaty, so my brother decided to scare me. And let's just say that he got me pretty good. Um, that same day, we decided to go to the City Walk, which is right outside of Universal. And it was very beautiful. That was the sunset. We decided to play mini golf. Uh, mini golf was very fun. It was me hitting, my mom putting, and she lost the ball in the dark. I don't know how. She, I think she had a black ball, that's why. And of course, you know, your boy won because he's just like that. I'm really like that. You guys know that. And then my uncle came, which is my aunt's husband. Uh, we took more pictures with the family and we really missed them. And I think that this trip was so fulfilling. Now we're going back home after spending days with them. This is us leaving. This is the sky. I think it looked beautiful with that one star. Um, and this is us back in New York. I think it really made me sad that we had to leave. Alright guys, and that was the little collage, whatever you want to call it, of my trip, a little recap, if you will. So, needless to say that that trip was very fun. I think you guys can tell off of all the videos and everything. That that trip was as fun as it gets, honestly, and I can't complain at all. Like that was a great trip um so i want to do more videos from here on out uh i'm gonna try now that uh you know it's getting to the cold and you know i'm not gonna be outside as much i mean working in the gym like i usually am but now i'll be home more hopefully so hopefully that means that i can put out more videos for you guys and also for myself because I do miss making videos. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys did, make sure to share, like, comment, uh, subscribe if you're not already. Turn on the post notifications. You guys already know we're about to hit 120 subscribers. Literally one away, which uh, is important to me because literally like for the longest I was stuck on like 50 subscribers and then finally hit 100 subscribers and now. I'm still building my way up, so if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Go follow all my social medias, they will all be down in the description, you guys already know that. I will see you guys in the next one.